get started anyway. Uh, good morning. Good morning. We're running a little slow this morning, I think. Some of us anyway. Uh, I guess we'll do roll call. Rhonda, I guess it looks like you got a quorum. It's a good one for today. Okay, Mr. Hall. Here. Mr. Bakley. Mr. Dixon. Here. Mr. Artisone. Here. Mr. Carter. Here. Mr. Holsinger. Here. Mr. Postles? Here. Mr. Shilo? Here. Ms. Smith? And yes, we have a quorum. Uh, moving right ahead, uh, I'd like to have approval of the minutes for the May 30th meeting, if I could please, if there are no questions or additions or corrections. So moved. So I have a second. Second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carried. Okay. Uh, public comments. Do we have any public comments? None at all. Okay. Moving, moving right ahead. Uh, I guess we're down to you, Emily. First item. I guess uh, I was looking at the agenda. Is it? Uh, it looks like four and six are correct connected. Yes. So, but uh, Dave had asked me to separate them into two separate actions to talk about today. Okay. Um, so, for the first half, uh, McClanahan's has submitted a lot merge, um, and it's a consolidation of two adjacent lots. The reason why these two agenda items are connected, it's not listed on this slide, is because in order to, I believe, do these lot merges, they are two different. Um, zoning uh, level. So, okay. hold on, it's on the next slide here. So that's the reason for the separate. So yes, so the reason, just so you understand the connection, so yeah. this is the map that I have. I'm sorry, the, the uh, map is not perfect. Um, but I tried to do Google Maps and it wasn't as up to date as this tract. So it made more sense to use this map that was submitted. <coughs> but if you look here, this is tra one track, this is the other track or parcel, um, but they are under uh, different zones. Emily. Yes. Yes. We need to clarify for a second. Andrew Holodnik for the Borough of Holidays Park. There are two different applications. This application that's on the screen currently is for the petition to rezone. The lot merger is a separate property, separate from the two that are up here. So one's on Beaver Street, the other is on uh, Newry. So they're two different parcels okay. completely. So s item six is not connected to this item at all. Correct. Okay. It shouldn't be. Well, I misunderstood that within the plan in our discussion <laughs> in office. I apologize. Um, I can elaborate. My name is Joel Seeley from McClanahan. I'm general counsel there. I, I can elaborate very quickly on that. The plan for McClanahan is if, if the uh, borough rezones, the plan is to merge those two lots that you see up there. That petition is not pending before this uh, body because we were seeing whether or not we can get the zoning rezoned to where the tracks would be the same zone. So that was attached to the petition to rezone as a purpose as to why we're asking to rezone and will be before the board in the future. It's just not the current lot merger that's before the lot confusing. It is confusing. Um, <laughs> So, just to go back to the simple lot merge, I did use this for the map because it looks, it literally looks very similar. And even on Google Earth, when I had put it in, it did not match the map that I had in hand. So, when I thought that these two were the same, um, I had put this. But, so if you go back to this, you will see that these parcels are kind of, you know, adjacent. Um, so, if we're just focusing on the lot merge portion, um, this is the consolidation of two adjacent lots. Um, it would create one larger um, parcel, 2.32, um, with the goal of expanding the corporate office. Um, there would be no change in lot frontage. Um, there would be no immediate environmental concerns from our end, um, and there would be minimal impacts to the watershed. Um, I believe it would be the Beaver Dam branch, the Juniata River watershed. Um, so this would be the first item, which is separate 
than the rezoning. Uh, yes, do you have a question? I'm sorry, just to continue on. So this, the parcel you're looking at right now, this is not for the lot merger at the moment. This, oh, like, these two parcels are for the rezoning. Oh, yeah, wait a minute here. So these were in <laughs> one folder in I'm, my desk. I'm confused. I am also so confused. Much. I am, yeah. We have this up here for looking at a lot merger for this site. And that's incorrect. That, and that's incorrect. Well, was that incorrect because you presented it wrong or we got it wrong? Or we, we interpreted it wrong? So the, 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 the and come on, tell me. The, yeah, the, so the application for this property was for the rezoning. McClanahan's is also merging two lots separate from these two lots. Okay, The now, purpose of the rezoning of these lots is to eventually merge them together. Okay. But the board's not to hear the merger of the lots. They're to hear the rezoning of these two lots. Then. So there is no merger. So yes, you should skip so six take should be this first. off the agenda. Is that correct? The the lot merger for this property, yes. But okay. the the board should be hearing the rezoning of these two properties today. That's six. Okay. So so, so six yeah, should be one. I motion table this 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 item of the agenda. So so moved. Do I have a second? Second. Do I have a, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, it's off the agenda. We won't talk about it until you bring it back at the next next time and make another submittal. Correct. Because I'm not gonna sit here and try and figure out what you're doing for you. Okay? <laughs> okay, moving right ahead. Um so we have um, some staff level reviews. Um which We've already completed an email to you in advance. Um, so then we would get back to the review by actions of governing bodies, which would be the rezoning petition. Um, okay, so the other way, ma'am, I've got to still, on the staff level reviews on yes. item five, I've got, to, I've got to give you an approval for that. Which one? Oh, sorry, I, I apologize. I have, I, have to, I have to, okay. <laughs> I if apologize. This, if this has been sent out, these are the items that have been sent to board members by email for review and any, ask any questions. So does any of the board members have any questions concerning any of the items on staff level on, on the agenda item five? If there are no questions, I will entertain a motion to approve the staff actions and recommendations for state item five of the agenda. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. <laughs> All, uh, I have a motion to say all those in favor signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Motion carried. Now move on to six. Yes. I apologize for the confusion. Um, so this is essentially the rezoning. Um, so you will see that it is in a residential neighborhood and some of these are technically commercial. Um, and the lots. Um, so we would, I think the petition was to essentially take one to the other um, so that they could both be the same type of parcel so that they could be eventually merged. Um, Dave had brought to my attention um, that we do have the rezoning coming up in the comprehensive plan in Holidaysburg Borough soon as well. All right, now, questions? Mm -hmm. Are we taking that small lot and combining it with the, the try or eventually rezone that? What is there two separate zonings in that larger plot? Does it extend across there as is it one zone or is it? Is it what, so this was one zone to my okay, understanding. And this it was a at? different. What's it zoned as? What was that? What was it zoned as? Uh, let me see. Residential business. I believe so. No, no the or, small one. I apologize. Um, Small lots residential business, is that correct? The small lot is residential business? Um, yes. It's residential business zoning to become limited industrial zoning. And the, the, up, the other lot is industrial, right? Yes. It okay. is industrial you're at, zoning. You're asked, they, want to, they want to rezone that smaller lot to be industrial. Correct. Yes, I apologize. I'm not communicating well. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, yes. So the this smaller parcel is to be the same type of zone. This is industrial. 
um, zoning, and then below it is residential business. And then I believe I have, a, there's another map submitted that looked at these other parcels as well. I'm assuming McClanahan owns both parcels currently? Yes. Okay. Do you have? If I could just provide some clarification, I think it can simplify the understanding for the board yeah, to absolutely. properly consider. I don't want to step on anybody's No, head. no. Go ahead. So McClanahan, through an entity that they own called MCLRH LLC, which is just an LLC that McClanahan owns, owns those parcels. The larger parcel that you see that's shaped like an L is limited industrial. It has been limited industrial. That's where the parking lot across the street from the corporate offices are located. You'll see some manufacturing uh, buildings and some assembly buildings down there. And then a vacant lot that historically, 10, 15 years ago, McClanahan acquired and merged with purposes of future development. The smaller lot is residential business. That had an existing home on it, was acquired, and then the home was demolished through a permit. And that is a vacant lot as well. So right now what we have is we have those two lots that are both owned by the same company that are different uh, uh, zoning classifications. And the intent is to have it one zoning classification, which is the larger version, which is limited industrial. And that area of Nuri is, it's, it, it does have some residential business, but it is a lot of limited industrial throughout there as it goes through the entire corporate office uh, along Beaver Street and down that road. Once the rezoning is done to where the smaller tax parcel uh, 0604, if, if it's permitted to be changed to limited industrial, now we will have two parcels that are the same zoning, and then the intent is to merge them, as we had discussed earlier, so that it becomes one parcel that's one zoning, that has one set of setbacks and one set of uh, rules as to how it would be developed. After that, once the lots are merged, at that point, we are going to be expanding because of our increase in local workforce. Uh, McClanahan is investing in local workforce and increasing uh, the amount of employees there. We are going to be putting a building there for training purposes and office purposes. The corporate office will remain in its current location, but that building will be a training center and have some office space in there and some larger conference rooms to accommodate our growing workforce. That's the long-term plan, but right now, What's before this body is only to consider making the small parcel the same zoning as the larger parcel, and it is consistent with that area down there where there's a lot of limited industrial. And that's what's before. Uh, the, I'm happy to answer any questions, but I was trying to clarify some of the confusion so that the body can understand what our current request is as it relates to this petition. Uh, thank you. Um, I wasn't sure if I should bring the project narrative this candidly is my second meeting presenting. Oh, um, so thank you. No um, I appreciate it. Um, but yes, um, so essentially it is for the corporate office and to expand the office. And they did say in the narrative that the amount of employees they've been hiring has been increasing and that they hope to expand within a longer period. Okay. Um, All right. I guess... I don't know where this goes from, from what we're saying. Let's, uh, we just need to, is there any, any questions concerning this rezoning petition? <laughs> I guess all we're looking for is a motion to support the rezoning by Bob Clanahan's. Uh, and that requires, that requires it goes back to, actually it's in Aldisburg Borough, right? It's their response, their, their approval, not ours. Uh, do I have any questions or comments concerning this, this uh, petition for rezoning? It's in that lower quarter there, the bottom of the bottom right. Is that this? I'm sorry, sir. The bottom right corner of the picture there. What's that? Is that residential? Or? So that's, uh, to my knowledge, that's still residential business. Those are some homes there that uh, still exist. Okay. There is a there is a uh, alley mm -hmm. uh, on the bottom of the. You can kind of see. Yeah. Uh, on top there too, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's an okay. alley right there that kind of separates okay. those two areas that uh, uh, would exist. Is and that and it's caddy corner from the old BCO? Yes. Yeah. Uh, BCO yeah, gas yeah, on this map, the BCO will be over here. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Over there where, yes. Where they're tanking. Yeah, and on the top. Yeah, and on the top of the the, the L-shaped tax parcel, that's where 
PennDOT came in and re redid all that traffic down there uh, across the street, uh, or all on Beaver Street. And so the other section down there is the section. The blue area there is where where they have potential for flooding. Yeah, that, that is correct. That's the yes. flood hazard. And it is not. It would technically be within those residential business parcels. I did note that when I had thought that I was supposed to also do the lot merge at the same time, I had to note that in the other slide that there was flood hazard areas outside of the parcels and that they would have to be mindful and just follow any um, subdivision or land ordinances if there was to be development in the future. Okay, I guess I'm looking for some sort of motion to support, uh, I would say, offer our support for the rezoning of that parcel. Now that it's clear, I'll make a motion that we were allowed to be rezoned. Okay. I'll second it. All right, I have a motion to second to, to support the rezoning of, uh, as, as shown in, in item six of the agenda. Uh, are there no further questions? All those in favor, signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carried. Okay, moving right ahead. So these are the staff level reviews that also were received via email. Um, they were specifically for mostly grants this time. A few, um, I'd say, uh, and I always want to call them NPs, but they're not. And NPDES um, and sewage, um, but these were all received via email. Again, these are these are items that don't require staff or a review by the board, but are sent to board members <coughs> by email for questions, comments, uh, whatever, of, to the staff. So if there are no questions or comments, I would pr entertain a motion to approve the staff action <coughs> recommendations and letters of support uh, <coughs> for item seven of the agenda. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Are there any questions on any of these items? Okay. If there are none, uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Yep. Abstentions? Aye. Motion carried. Moving on. Oh. Yes. Uh, this is just informational purposes. Um, no votes needed. Uh, the MPO approved the um, transfer, 2025 transportation program at this month's meeting, um, and <coughs> we'll be submitting them all the multitude of documents for that submission. And then mm -hmm. that means it's now time for the to begin the update of the next transportation program, the 2027-2030. We'll be sending that information out to the municipality to open the week. So that's just information on so we're looking forward to th that information. So, are there any questions for Wes while we've got him on, on the hot spot? <laughs> okay. Okay. There are none moving right ahead, Dave. This this thing here, you can say where you want to do it. Okay, Con. I don't know. I I I I don't know what the hell is with it. The commission satisfies both of them. Okay. They got even less people now to figure out what the hell is going on. You got a uniform. You got stuff that can leave. Yeah. Who's that guy beside him? Is that button the whole way to the top? If it's not the whole way to the top, it's all right. Yeah. They don't have to get that machine. Yeah. All right. Covers it. Covers it. All right. Um, so this was presented last month um, for budget purposes. Um, I was directed to 
bumps the local share to 60 cents and has been done. Uh, total income on that is 159 roughly. Um, I did hold the, um, recommending that we hold the fees for the subdivision land development portion um, simply because they said that number seems to be about where we need to be with it and when we see the bottom line here I don't see a need to increase them this year uh, maybe next year but not this year um, everything else is the same as the first as, as was put, as what was presented this budget does include the salary increases including hiring um, in person and holding on to the fancy for the whole year um, at her at her rate um, but at Part time, I put it in at 60% uh, for time. So there's a cap of $30,000 at, at her rate. Um, which we'll, which we'll hit when we read off the salaries. Um, it's roughly 25 an hour. The salaries are set at, based on the CPIU, at 4% uh, increase. The other issue that is in this budget is the health coverage, which we need to discuss. The budget assumes a 25% uh, increase in health insurance costs based on our discussion last month. Um, as I mentioned last month, we had a uh, meeting shortly after our last monthly meeting with the, um, with the broker. Um, she's indicating that we do have the option to offer a choice of plans to the employees. That seems to be appropriate since we technically are already doing that because Rhonda happens to be on the wrong side of the county line. And from UPMC's perspective, she is in um, Rhonda's stand or something like that. So, you know, it's just, she, she might as well be in a different. Outer Mongolia yeah, or something. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So, we technically are already having to offer two different plans to our employees because she is in a different region. Um, so there's not much we need to worry about in terms of setting that up other than deciding um, what we uh, would offer to the employees. Um, that would be the plan that we had looked at last month was a $15,000 deductible, which eliminates the HSA possibility, uh, but it also there's no copay on it. Um, the other plan that looked favorable was a uh, 1750 deductible, which allows the HSA, and then well, there would also be the plan that we were maxed to, which is the 2200 deductible with the HSA, and that has a 10% COVID okay. on it. So those would be the plans that would be available for people to pick from. Okay. So the budget assumes everybody's picking the most expensive one, so we we'll make sure we have plenty of available. Okay, um, Dave, one, one, just from that, maybe most of the board's not aware, one of the things that's driving this has been that we what we're finding on the current plan we have for our employees and it's costing us uh, consternation is the deductibles were so high that basically nobody was using the insurance so we were paying for insurance that nobody was using that was the the bottom line and it was it was starting to get to the point <coughs> where uh, employees were thinking of other options for what employment and everything else simply because of the health benefit package. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to update that to the point where it's now attractive for both our current employees and the fact that we are still short and will be short of staff members and we're having trouble getting people, tracking people in. And one of the benefits that's causing, causing gas pains is our health coverage and the lack of it, or what it is. So that's what's, that's what's driving the whole the whole discussion on the, on the health coverage is the fact that it's, it's costing us retention problems with employees. It's also causing us hiring problems when we try to go out and out the market and hire people. So I think we're at a rock and a hard place. We don't have much choice except to try and improve what our health coverage is. So. Yeah, that's, the, that's the health and the item on the, the, the bullet point on the agenda is uh, we should, we never did, but we should have a formal vote of the board to offer an option of plans. Um, we were forced into it just geographically. Um, didn't realize it until she pointed it out, really. 
Um, but um, we should have a form of vote to allow the option of plans and, uh, and take care of that. While we're on health insurance, uh, without a building identification, um, there was an error that's been made in the last three years. We owe an employee close to $5,000. Okay. So, um, and that's health related. Um, I'd rather not go into it beyond that. Um, but um, just so you're aware, <coughs> as things come through, probably Jim will be signing something with a check for $5,000. That was, it was a misinterpretation of what was intended um, through the employee handbook, and uh, we need to get it corrected. So okay. So we're fixing one, and we're fixing a mistake on one, but the, that's... Yeah, it's a separate issue, but it's... Separate issue, yeah. but now the other question is... Uh, and that issue has been corrected with this budget. So now the, the line item in the budget for health insurance does include money for the most expensive of the two options we've talked about. Right. Does it address the fraud? Does either one of those plans address? It seems like the deductibles are pretty high. Does it still address? That's as low as we can get with the deductibles. It's fifteen hundred. That's why we allow the other two of the HSA because if you put the HSA in there, theoretically that will still um, cover. Does it make it attractive to people? Yeah. You know, what bugs me when when you told me that we were have we had health insurance, but people weren't using it because it was too expensive. That, that bugged me because it seems like, okay, here we're paying for something that nobody wants to use, and that's not really reasonable either. <coughs> we're paying $64,000 for health. Are we, increase, are, we, are we addressing that, at least trying a little bit to address yeah, that? That's what the lower deductible will address that. But the 1,500 deductible is as low as they're making available to us. Okay. Um, so even with that, um, a healthy person, and you know, just doing regular checkups, senior is not going to hit fifteen hundred dollars in a deductible. Um, that's and your average doctor's appointment. Now, to say we're not using the insurance is not entirely accurate in terms of we're still getting the benefits of the negotiated rate the insurer has with the, with the provider. So instead of paying, say, hundred dollars to your provider, you're still only paying. You know, your 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 deductible includes that lower rate that the, that the insurance company is negotiating with the provider. <laughs> what we're not doing is we're not getting to the point where insurance is fully covering everything. What we're right. doing. So we're paying for insurance we generally don't use. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting the benefit of the negotiated rate, but we're not getting the benefit of the actual <coughs> benefits that are in the insurance. Well, the insurance companies are a little bit. Yeah. And so. Med Express isn't covered either. I went to the walk in, and that's not, I have to pay the whole thing. It's not even covered under our insurance. Yeah, that surprises too. Yeah. You know, I, roughly that makes our benefits to salary about 30%. And that is the average right now in the, in the U.S. So we're just getting up to the average. That's, that's that part of it. Um, <coughs> Guardian once again held firm on their rates. We have never paid an increase for them since we started with them five years ago. Um, so I'm not going to complain about that. So that's our... Uh, Life ADD, short term and long term disability. Um, rates, are, the rates are being held on that, that, that firm. Um, the other benefit that's under benefits is <coughs> retirement, that's 76% of whatever the base salary is. And then payroll expenses, things like Social Security, working stock, and those uh, types of things. Which we have no control over. We get those rates to it. Did that. Okay. Based on inflation, um, we did bump up the operating expenses. You can see the differences there between the left column and the right column. Um, I tried to match it up with what we're actually spending. Um, the numbers in the middle column are only through April, so keep that in mind. Um, but um, that's that's where we are on that. Yeah. Yeah. Go back up. Go back up. How far? Um, up to the. Years. Your year, year line, there's 21, 22 on there. there's instead of. No, I forgot to change the years. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. He just thought it was too. I don't know. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we're not going to get focused on the substance and forget the. Yeah, sorry. That should be 22, 24, 22, 24, and 24. Oh, God. Sorry. Yeah, the last the, the last column, the next to the last oh column, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, that's doable. Okay. 
Oh, um, yeah. There's our bottom line there. Um, we're still we're still showing a positive. Yeah, it's a positive. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, that, and it'll have some buffering in case the, the inflation keeps going up. Yeah, and that um, includes... That, every time we call PC works, just as an example, it's a $100 charge. That's, that includes the the uh, part-time for... Yeah. And then the... Yeah, it includes part-time for McKenzie. For McKenzie. It includes uh, new hire. full-time new hire. New hire. Yeah. Okay. So... And it includes the, the expense of insurance. <clears throat> One of the things I think we're finding is that uh, we're saying new hire because basically we're short staffed and we're not getting the work done because we, we need to get done. Let's put it you know in, in in a timely fashion. Let's put it that way. We, we're getting it, we're doing things, but we're not we're not getting them done in the in, in the time frame that we, we that, that we should that our members should expect to on response and reply on. And the primary example of that one for me is, has been that has been the New Williamsburg Comprehensive Plan. That, I mean, they're not they're being very patient about it, but at the same time, I feel very badly that it's it's dragged out as long as it has, and that's not not acceptable. <coughs> so, what are we looking for? Just an approval of the budget? Is that um, what we need? Approved budget, and we need to. Um, we don't need to do the, unless somebody wants to make a change to the um, fee schedule, we don't need to worry about that, we need that be. Um, okay. We need to approve the budget, we need to approve the salaries. And I need a vote to allow the options on the options. So are those three, do I, can we handle those all together, or are they three yeah, separate? I agree off, well, maybe we should separate them to be safe. Okay. I move to approve the budget. Okay, do I have a second? Second. All those in favor signify saying, saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay, next item. Carry. Okay, salaries. Um, Mr. Burkett, 77,150. Mackenzie at 25,25 an hour, capped at 30,000 a year. Uh, Ms. Kelly at 39,650. Emily stays at 40, but she's only been here a quarter. Um, I go up to 85, 550, and Sherry gets to 56, 500. The new person's paid at 50,000 right now. Okay. Now, well, well, the only question Sorry. I would. Uh -uh. Okay. No. Should be like fifty-seven five, I think. Okay, the only question. Yeah. The only question well, I, I would ask. I just want them to approve it before. Yeah. Correcting. The only question I would ask on this is, and, and this is, this comes from what we've been finding on that, uh, regardless of what kind of class county we are or whatever we're doing is. We've been high, having trouble hiring at that rate, and to get a to get a planner, even an entry level planner, we may end up paying more than fifty thousand. Right. That's and just we have a little bit of buffer. Because we have a little bit that because that's the and it's nothing to do with what we want what we what we desire or anything else. It's what the market is for that position. And again, I would say that one of the things we find is. We're not competing with other 50, 60 class counties in our area because they're paying, they're having the same problems we're having. We're competing with the, the Harrisburgs, and the Philadelphias, and the Pittsburghs, and the Scrantons, and all the bigger bigger areas that are paying more for planners, and that's just that's a fact of life. We can't do anything about that. Okay, I'm going to double check salaries. We'll do that next month. Okay, so you want to table the two years ago. And I can I can I just so do I have a motion to table the salary actions until next month? So moved. Do I have a second? Sorry about that. Second. Okay. okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Do need a motion on that? Okay, but then so we need now the only thing that's left is we have 
the health insurance, which again is again is being driven by our some of our hiring needs and also staff retention problem. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the staff recommendations and actions on presenting the, uh, on the making available the two health care packages offered? Several health care packages. Several. We're allowed up to five. Okay. okay. So okay. Second. Do I have a second? Somebody to go ahead. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carried. Okay. Uh, you have the officers. Yeah, you have to take that. I can't. Do that. All right. So. Don't need a to change the local share. Oh yes, we need a vote to change the local share. Thank you. Oh yeah. Do I have a motion to, 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 to change the local share to sixty cents per capita? So, so moved. Second. Second. Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Motion carried. Okay. Uh, now, now you can take over, Dave. I'm done. <laughs> so we have three officers, as we all know. We have the chairman, a secretary, and a treasurer. The current office holders are Bill as chairman, uh, Pat is the secretary, and Jim is the treasurer. Pat has indicated he would prefer to not be re-nominated. Um, but we'll, we'll take them in order. Uh, we'll open the nominations for chair. Gee, here's your chance to get rid of me. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> well, somebody's got to make a motion to that effect, then, so I'll make a motion. Bill is nominated. Any other nominations? <laughs> and they say the railroad doesn't run in Blair County anymore. <laughs> yeah, you got railroad. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm not objecting. Let's put it that way. I will. Motion to close nominations. So moved. Second. I will. I will comment though I'm getting Sorry. I'm getting awful old. <laughs> Who is I was gonna say yeah, what's the right. alternative? <laughs> oh. We have a second. He did second. Yeah, second. Yeah. I thought he moved it. No, I he, he moved it. Okay, he second. All right. All favor closing the nominations for chair. Yeah. What, what, whichever, whichever one. Whichever way you want to go. <laughs> we both talk. Yeah. All in favor. Aye. All right. All right. And uh, open nominations for secretary. Herb, are you willing to come back? Yeah. I would nominate Herb for secretary. Herb, yeah. Herb, Herb, yeah. Herb nominate. Herb nominated. Can't talk. Second. Any other nominations? Yeah. I'm getting old too. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to close nominations. Okay. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Ben. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. And for treasurer? We'll nominate Jim. 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 Any others? Okay. Motion to close nominations. So moved. Second. Second. <laughs> All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right. All right. Then we need a motion to vote in the slate. A motion to vote in Bill as chair, Herb as secretary, Jim as treasurer. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We got it. Okay. Uh, gee, you forgot the. Uh, I see we're on item. Yeah. Well, I have ten. Well, okay. ten. Oh, that's okay. There, that's it. I thought I, I thought I was missing it there. Amy, it's your turn. <clears throat> Thank you. I, you probably all read um, in the in the paper a couple weeks ago that the county is looking for land for a new um, building, 
And I just wanted to let you know that uh, we are moving forward as quickly as we can with with that. I um, we are hopeful that we're able to get the project going, find the land, and get the pro project going soon. That's really all I have to report, I guess. We've got a lot of other things going on. We, we're a little ambitious and kind of uh, have taken on a lot of projects right now. Well, what's, what's the proposed use of the land for the build? You're going we're to build, build. build a new building for? For a prison? Possibly. Possibly. Could be other things, though. Okay. So. Oh. <coughs> They're going to put us in the far cell. Yeah. Or tear down the old prison well, and build a parking lot. Well, I was going to say, what if you end up in the old prison, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I get to tear it, I'll consider it. <laughs> we need to tear it down and create a parking lot. Oh. That would solve well, all of these birds' problems. I, I was going to say, it, yeah, we are limited mm -hmm. with what we can do with the old existing parcel, and it's um, actually quite small. It was perfect for yeah. the 1860s. Oh, yeah. um, we are past that time now. <laughs> Make you know, yeah. there are several ideas, yeah, of what things we could do. And that's one of them. There's yeah, that, that it's, really oh, well, it, it's such a cool looking building, too. Yeah. All right. Um, yes. Well, that's kind of the way I, you know, it's one of those things that Architecturally, it's an interesting building. And I is. hate to lose interesting buildings. Yeah. That's just well, you know, over in life, but. over in Western Pennsylvania, somewhere there's a an, an, a closed, what they used to call insane asylum, and you can you can like stay overnight there. You can pay money <laughs> and stay overnight, <laughs> thinking, hey, why not? We could do that with yeah, the prison. Group <laughs> and restaurants in over the prison. They that's right. Like that. That's right. There are a lot of things Big that can. <laughs> So we need something to bring people into the county and tourism, yeah. and, and tax, so we're tax. trying to yes, because well yeah, because it won't tax us, that's so right. tax the people Sell that are property. visiting, and that's what we're. What you get the Blair County, County Prison Hotel. You can check on any time <laughs> you like, but you can never. You can leave. never leave, right? <laughs> that's food in town. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. Yeah. Enough that we've had, yeah, enough humor, I guess. <laughs> uh, at least a lighthearted look at that, anyway. Okay, uh, now it's item 11. Now is the time for board members. If you have any comments, questions, corrections, additions, things you want to talk about, this is your opportunity. Well, by silence. Are there are there no items or no no concerns by, by uh, at this time by the board members? If not, I'll move on to to Walt. It's Walt's turn. I'm good. I got what I need. Whoa! <laughs> I will thank you, Walt. Though you, I, I think what I've been reading, what I read in the paper, uh, and that and the item, you've been most fair. Very, 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 and that's that's about that's the best that we we all we can hope for. A lot of times, is that we get, <laughs> I'm not that we get fair, it, we get fair, fair and accurate coverage, Thank and that's you. all all any elected official can ask for. I think is fair and fair and fair and accurate coverage. Mm -hmm. So, moving right ahead, there's our upcoming events. I do want to point out July eighth. Uh, the public hearing for Altoona's comp plan um, that will close that. I expect, uh, based on the feedback they've gotten so far, I think the plan will hold as it is. They won't have to go back and any substantive revisions, although you never know who might show up. Um, the plan is on July 9th to kick off the ordinance rewrite. So um, the very next day, they're going to start the next process. So, uh, so July 8th will be the public hearing. Um, if there's no substantive comments received, I expect they'll adopt it July 8th in the evening. And then July 9th in the morning, there's a meeting to kick off the ordinance rewrite. They've already made the initial changes from the earlier comments. From the earlier comments, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, August 21st, 
is uh, Joe Hurd's uh, send-off at the stadium. Um, uh, we have a announcement here. If anybody's interested, let us know. It's twenty dollars a person to get in. Um, we can cover that if you if you want to be. It's five to seven in the evening on the twenty first of August. So it's two months out. Okay. You're supposed to wear your tropical prints, is what it yep. says. <laughs> I don't have any, so I guess I can't go. I'll let you wear them. Grandson got all mine. All right, if there are no, is there anything else for the good of the order? If not, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. All right, second. second. Okay, we're out of here. Thank you, people.